So Drew Doughty, of course, gets the start in his 1,000th game. The identity line, as A.J. talked about in the pregame, Casey Zizekas is out there against the fourth line of the Kings. Blake Lazat, Brendan Lemieux, and Arthur Kaliev. Matt Martin was there, but back come the Kings. Lemieux, Kaliev, wrist shot. He's got a good one. Glove by Varlama. Adam Pellick, one of the best defensive defensemen in the NHL. Number three for the Islanders. J.G. Pajot, well, no. Walsh in front. Redirected by Pajot, and Cal Peterson makes the first big save of the game. Good job by Varlamov, and this was the chance coming through. You talked about Pellick. Good one up. I thought Pajot could have gone in and had almost an open shot. Bjorn Foot, good young player. Dursey, right-handed shooting defense, and he's been a nice find for them. His shot saved by a Varlamov. Wrap around, and Trevor Moore can't quite beat the Russian goaltender as he beats him to the post. That, and here's that last chance. You see Victor Arvidsson, 33 and white, right where he wants to be in front of the net. Dowdy had a hard time getting that puck out, then survives. Brown makes a nice pass. Quinton Byfield. Here he comes, number 55. A player to watch in the NHL. Well down by Barzell. Goes to Bailey. Here comes Pellix. Got some room. Two on one with Lee. Pellix shot! Oh, yo, ding dong! Off the crossbar and into the netting. Should have more. He's a good player. You know what? We're not even wow. six minutes in and we have our first yo ding dong. Let's take a listen. Yeah, listen to this. Uh Shot pass in the direction of Iafalo couldn't connect. Kings with some good offensive zone time right here. In front, Kempe, what a big save by Barlamov. And Pellich slowly pokes it back so his goalie can cover. They were in a triangle posture. They always had a high guy. You can see right there, there's somebody then, as somebody comes down, somebody else comes out. And what that does, that creates uh, some some depth to it. There's always somebody that the Islanders are trying to worry about. Kempe's right in the slot there. But you also have Aya follow off to the left. He's an option. Yeah, you often hear coaches when you're in a little bit of a drought or a slump saying, well, I just like them my team of getting the chances and McClellan's at the point where he yeah, says no. we're getting the chances I'm good with that now we got to polish him up exactly Byfield here he comes the youngster wrist shot score there it is the first career goal for Quinton Byfield the 19 year old in his 10th NHL game the second pick of the 2020 draft gets tuck number one. He broke his ankle about back in the preseason game in October, so he had a slower start, some ups and downs, some COVID issues himself. And really, when you watch the way he plays, he's a big guy. He uses his size, but look at the speed. Look at the separation, pushes the puck into space, and then he just gets oh, the shot man. off. I mean, that's a laser. Drew Doughty's 1,000th game in his NHL career for the 32-year-old. Mom and dad are here in attendance. Good first period for Drew and the Kings as they outshot the Islanders. 9-3. to three. Salo to Josh Bailey. He'll look to play make. One-timer Salo off the post. Direct shot. Second post. The Isles have hit. Down low. Swooped in front. Puck is loose. Oh, did it. it has done a great job back there quarterbacking this second unit and Ooh. what he does he knows when to shoot and he's got a great uh, vision for passing too it's been interesting to see right here what he recognized in this situation great opportunity for the Islanders the puck pops out back to the deep Dowdy one timer good save by the blocker by Varlamov to keep it one nothing with 90 seconds left in the second Bovillier down the middle into the glove of Peterson as he Poked it towards the net, but Peterson with the save. McDavid in Washington against Ovi. Yeah, that's that last chance by Beauvillier. Oh. This last shift looked more just talking about how tight checking it was. Islanders, the D, are giving up some chances off their offensive blue line. I think some of it is they're stepping a little. Turnover in front is loose. Barzell, no. Lee, no. Whistle. Well, that was close. Oh. Let's take a look at how this happened. You can see Ali Mata Whoa. mishandles it, and Cal Peterson oh, there. His to, head. Oh, his oh, oh. But Anders Lee there, he's going to forecheck, and he recognizes, look at that, he got the clock there, and Cal Peterson already going to the far post, and he just squeezes it. Oh, man, that was close. Watch this, stoink right there. A little more personality coming out of these NHL refs with the mic. It's all because of Dave Jackson. Mm -hmm. Second period winding down. Holy shnikes. What a wrist shot by Andreas Athanasiu. Out of nowhere, late in the period, Todd McClellan puts him on, hoping for some lightning. 
Look at this. His, uh, he's on his on side, which means he has less of an angle to shoot, and it goes across. It's not even short side. It goes glove side. This puck had eyes, and you hear it ding off the post there. Oh. 5.1 seconds left, which is the worst part about this. Not that this is maybe one that Varlamov certainly wants back. He's oh. down. He's deep in his crease, not expecting a shot. Andreas Athos Niu with the incredible wrist shot for his fourth goal of the year and just his 12th game. And a former 30 goal scorer with Detroit. He's got the ability. We just saw it there. Drew Doughty, game number 1,000 behind his own net to Mikey Anderson, his partner. This is uh, game 103 in Mikey Anderson's young career. Wallstrom dances Anderson. Backhand saved by Peterson with the blocker. Dobson comes in to the slot. Shot saved by. Peterson on Pajot. And Peterson is a goalie that has pretty minimal movement, and it's very efficient the way that he moves, but he crossed that post-to-post -post quickly. And his 17th start of the year. Jonathan what? Quick has 26. Oh, man. Good opportunity yes. there from Clutterbuck. Doughty wants the one-timer. Has it. One-timer is wide. Oh, far side. Rebound attempt, but really good stick in front. Pellick. Adam Pellick with that magic wand. In front, shot saved by Varlamov. Three of them by Varlamov. As the Kings look to go up 3-0. The Islanders, interesting because this is the way they play. You got Salo and Mayfield out there. Mm. And they get overcommitted. And Trevor Moore finds himself in front. All four or five Islanders really are on the wrong side. And then oh. Wallstrom's out of position. But Moore, what a good job. And you know what Moore does really well here? Stays with it. You got Wallstrom tackling him. Doughty's out there. He goes down. Wallstrom. Back to the point it comes to, was going to go to Dobson. Bailey gets it back to the point. Barzell set up. The fans want a shot. Go! Same spot as after the CU scored late in the second. Barzell scores from the identical spot to make it 2-1. to one. Plenty of time to go. This is exactly what they were trying to do. Set up and you got Matt Barzell. I've talked about him getting inside the dots in this situation. He certainly doesn't need it. He's on his on offside rather, so he's got a better angle. And look at Anders Lee. Yeah. Heels right on the crease. Pical Peterson, you can see him trying to see over. He can. He goes down. The puck goes up. Good recognition by Barzell that he's got a giant body there mm. as the screen. Anders Lee. Around the net. Looking for two on the puck. Barzell. Uh-oh, Kopitar has it. Long reach. Throws it across. Kempe to seal it. Yes. 3-1 LA with 35.5 to go. Their all-star, Adrian Kempe, the Swede, with his 18th goal of the year. And Kings fans can sense a road victory as they lead 3-1. to one. So Kopitar gets it out, and he's got two players on him, sees Kempe, and Kempe, awareness there. He's at the red line. You know what? I'm, get, I'm over it. I'm going to go for this. Yeah. I might as well go for it, it's right? Good play. Yeah. But Kopitar, he just plays the right way. Doesn't put up a ton of points, and I know that disappoints people, but he certainly plays defense, and he's, he's also incredible an incredible leader for this team. Yeah, he leads them in assists. Here, shot, score! So instantly, it's a one-goal game again. Casey Zizekas gets his third of the year. And it's not over yet. You put this line back out, and Andy Green gets the puck up and out. And I think I think the L.A. Kings had already boarded the bus back to their hotel. Yeah. And we talked about how well they had boxed out in front. And in this situation, look at that pass from Matt Martin and the finish. Casey Zizekas, a couple years ago, we had 20 goals. But this year, he's uh, really having a tough time finding the back of the net. Mikey Anderson will keep it along the wall. And that's how the game will end. L.A. holds on despite the late Zizekas goal to make it a one-goal game. Drew Doughty is able to celebrate with the win in his 1,000th career game.